Hi, I'm packing up our West Side Avenue apartment that Aunt Loretta has lived in for 48 years or so. Um, and one of the things I wanna make sure I take with me is this object here that she has had for as long as I can remember my entire life. I'm 58, so it must be at least 60 years old, if not more. And that would be this. The famous Leonardo da Vinci painting. Of course, it's not the original Leonardo da Vinci, but it'll do. Let me just take this down. This is the first time it's been off this wall in, oh my God, five decades. And in the previous apartment, I believe it was hanging in the kitchen in the previous apartment. So it's at least 60 years old, if not more. I'm being conservative. This is uh, the Leonardo da Vinci, famous Leonardo da Vinci historic painting of the Last Supper with Jesus. And it was uh, completed, I believe, in 1495 or 1496, thereabouts, from the 15th century. And it's uh, currently housed in the convent of Santa Maria del Grazzi in Milan, Italy. That's where this is uh, located, the original. It was actually commissioned uh, by uh, Ludovico Forza, the Duke of Milan, back in the 15th century. Uh, he was the patron of Leonardo da Vinci, and he ordered da Vinci to create this painting of the Last Supper. And uh, this is the moment, if you can see here, closer view. This is historically famous. This is the official official depiction of the Last Supper. This is the one, this is the iconic moment that everyone remembers. It And um, this was actually, this moment was taken by Leonardo da Vinci uh, from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 21, I believe. This is the depiction of the very moment that Jesus announced that one of his apostles would betray him at the Last Supper. And this is the very moment that they hear that, and there's different emotions on their faces, as you can see. Um, and of course, we know it was Judas. It was Judas that uh, did the betrayal. But anyway, I'm keeping this for its historical and religious weight, its iconic imagery. I'm going to take this with me as I move back to Lyndhurst, out of Jersey City, and. Uh, this is one of our, actually you could call it a family heirloom. This has been in the family with Aunt Teresa and Aunt Loretta for as long as I was, I was alive. And I don't know how long before that. Um, I don't know where they got this from. I don't know who gave it to them, but they've always had it. And it's been hanging prominently in their kitchen and I'm going to put it in my apartment in Lyndhurst, in my space. So I will always keep this. Famous, famous. Get this ready to go. And this is coming with me.